What's up everyone, Ben from Living Survival and today we're gonna take a look at another product from Underground Quilts. We're gonna look at their Zeppelin bottom quilt. Super duper high quality. If you're brand new to hammock camping or you're a seasoned professional, you're gonna wanna check this out. So super stoked to show you guys this Zeppelin under quilt from Underground Quilts. I've shown you their tarps before. I have the Winter Dream uh, tarp, a complete coverage tarp. They make uh, lighter tarp options for the summer as well. We looked at their uh, top quilt. This is their Bandit top quilt. Awesome top quilt. Lots of different options for this. You can get a taper or no taper at the end. You can get buttons. You can get a drawstring. You can get it actually box sewn. On mine, I got it tapered and I got it box sewn so that right here below these buttons, this whole foot box area is all enclosed. Uh, keeps me nice and warm. So this is a 20 degree top, top quilt. This setup right here is a my cool weather setup. So heading into uh, spring, I'm probably going to have to hit them up uh, for a, uh, you know, maybe a 40 or 50 degree top quilt and same with the bottom quilt. Now today we're going to look at the bottom quilt. That is my newest quilt from them. This is the Zeppelin under quilt. You can get these things customized however you want. It's got the M10 liner on the inside and then on the outside they have this new fabric, the PRYM1 fabric and this is in the woodland. You can see how sick that is. So again, top notch quality, top notch sewing, top notch fabrics right onto their hardware. You know, they're using top end hardware. They actually upgraded this from their 332nd shot cord to 8th uh, eighth inch shot cord. So super duper uh, heavy duty here. Very easy to hook up. You just clip it, uh, you know, right at the back side of your gathered end of your hammock. And then you have a couple different adjustments here. You've got this white adjustment, which actually uh, is going to control how far the uh, you know, your position of your underquill. I like it right at my neck or right at my shoulder line. So my head would be right in here and then it's going to come up right underneath my shoulders. I have a down pillow that I use. So that keeps my back of my head warm. And then obviously you want it to come down to your feet, this being a full length uh, underquilt. So that's how you position this, whether you want to move it left or right, you know, to hug the bottom of your body correctly. Then there's also two other adjustments here. These adjustments uh, control how how stuffed or how tight this bottom portion is. You want a little bit of gap there so that it's not, you know, uh, poking up into you when you're laying in the hammock, but you don't want so much gap there that air is able to flow right through there. You want to trap that air in there. And that's the whole point of a top quilt and a bottom quilt as opposed to just using a sleeping bag. A sleeping bag works great as a top quilt, but when you're laying on it, you're compressing all that insulation underneath you and you're gonna end up cold on your backside. So having an under quilt that hangs underneath you, it's able to trap that air and essentially works like a sleeping bag. It's just not being compressed uh, by you laying on it. So top quilt and bottom quilt is really the way to go to be the most comfortable uh, in a hammock set up and going down the line here you can see that they have the uh, little uh, clips here that you can use to clip to your uh, hammock now my hammock is a simply light designs uh, hammock real similar to the dream hammock uh, darien or the actually the sparrow um, which they carry at underground quilt so check that out as well but on this uh, if i can find them here on my hammock, I have these uh, loops. So they're tie outs, but I can also clip my uh, under quilt to those, those loops there. And that will keep my under uh, quilt in place and keep it from sliding uh, out to one side or the other. Since in this type of uh, hammock or any type of hammock, really you wanna lay diagonally to get that flat lay. So when you're laying diagonally, sometimes the quilt doesn't want to lay diagonally. And sometimes in the night you'll lose it at your shoulder or you'll lose it at one of your legs and clipping it in like that helps, uh, helps maintain that. But these, these quilts are so big, um, they're, you know, they're made with so much, uh, you know, they don't skimp on the length or the width. So it really gives you a lot of coverage, uh, when you're laying down in there. And I really don't have the problem uh, with this under quilt slipping out from underneath me that I have with some other under quilts in the past. So you can see here, this is a zero degree quilt. It'll actually probably go lower than that because it's got two ounces of uh, overstuff. It's got the Ultima Down 850, which I believe is a goose down. So super high quality. That's what you're paying for in a higher end, really anything, but you're paying for the quality of the materials, the quality of the hardware, 
um, the you know the fill that's in it these are all individually baffled so you don't just have a clump that collects uh, in these channels they're all baffled so that your down stays separated you know throughout the entire quilt and like I said with any outdoor product whether it's backpacks or uh, t you know sleeping bags or tarps tents you know you really got to look at the quality of the hardware the quality of the stitching and all the added little uh, odds and ends uh, like being able to clip this to your the hammock the individual baffling the uh, you know the quality of the shot cord and the placement and just all the thought that goes into uh, these products that give you such a comfortable night's sleep uh, when you're out there in the elements so laying in the hammock I have a nice comfortable diagonal lay I'm nice and flat and you can see that these this uh, under quilt comes way up so I'm not gonna run the risk of it slipping underneath my feet now if you were worried about that you could just clip it onto the side and that'll keep it from doing that since you're laying diagonally and the quilt is sort of going like this sometimes you do have to do that but i find with this they make them wide enough like i said that they come up and over so the quilt is you know covering all the bottom of my legs and my feet now i'm not sure you're going to be able to see that because of the shadow but the quilt is coming right up to my shoulders here on the left side so i am covered head to toe with a super warm under quilt so with all their quilts you get a stuff sack obviously the higher the insulation level the bigger the stuff sack's going to be but even going into spring and summer a top and bottom quilt is a must for me certainly a must in cooler weather but even in warmer weather your backside will be cold if you don't have some sort of insulation underneath you overnight now it also works well to keep the mosquitoes if you have a single layer hammock like me it keeps the mosquitoes from biting you underneath as well and believe it or not they will bite through a single layer hammock so top notch quality go check them out so paul and missy pump out some fantastic products right here in jackson michigan they actually also sell dream hammocks they sell scullies and of course the tarps the top quilts and the bottom quilts as i mentioned i actually sold all my hammock gear quilts and exclusively run the underground quilts they're so comfortable so easy to set up and working with them is absolutely easy as pie you can specify exactly what you want from the different fill powers the colors they have tons and tons of options as far as that goes and they're going to set you up right uh, for your current hammock setup so i hope you guys enjoyed the video today please give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you leave me that comment in the comment section below please share this to any friends or family who might be interested in checking out underground quilts there'll also be a link below to them so you guys can check that out if you haven't already done so please hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of new videos